In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn cursor and windsurf to act like Devon. Now, Devon is world's first AI software engineer and it cost $500 per month. On the other hand, cursor cost $20 and windsurf cost $10. So in this video, you're going to learn how to turn $20 cursor and $10 windsurf to act like $500 Devon. Now, first we need to understand what Devon is good at. Devon is really good at planning. Just like a human software engineer, whenever you give Devon a task, it will think about it. It will plan it properly. Then it will create its own step-by-step -step task to follow. It will write all of those steps. Devon has capability to search internet itself. And if there is a problem that Devon will face during the development it will automatically look for a solution of that problem and try to fix it by itself if it cannot fix that problem in one attempt it will keep looking for a solution and keep trying different approaches to solve that particular problem throughout this entire process Devon learns from its mistakes and evolve based on that the solution that i'm going to share with you today is actually very simple this github repository that claims that you can turn cursor or windsurf to act as 90 percent of Devon. now you don't need to clone this github repository or to do anything complex with it there is very simple and basic thing that you need to do to turn your cursor or windsurf to act like Devon. So first of all, let me just show you if you are a cursor user, just come to this GitHub repository. I have provided that link in the description. After that, inside this cursor repository, just look for this dot cursor rules file. So basically what we are going to do, we are going to update or modify dot cursor rules file. What is dot cursor rules file? Inside cursor, whenever we set up a project, we create a dot cursor rules file where we actually guide cursor that how cursor is going to write code and what exactly the role of cursor AI agent is to develop this particular software. What kind of code it should write and what is its role to develop this project. There are two ways to add this cursor rules file. One is to add this file globally and another one is to add particularly for each individual project. To add this cursor rules file globally, you need to go to this settings tab and then there is rules for AI section. Inside here, you can add your cursor rules file. Now, to find cursor rules file for each project, you can go to something like cursor directory. Just go to a website which is called cursor directory. Go to this website, open this website, and then you can see a lot of developers have actually shared this kind of like cursor rules file for different kind of like, let's suppose if you're developing something in PHP, Next.js, React or Python or TypeScript, you can actually find all of these cursor rules file here, but you don't need that from here. What we're gonna do, we're gonna just copy this cursor rules file that, I, that is provided here and then add that into our project. Now, the mistake that you should not make is do not add this cursor rule file in this settings tab in cursor because then it will be implemented or you can say updated for the entire all of your cursor projects what you should do instead you should do you should like create a dot cursor rules file and then add this dot cursor rules content from here to your dot cursor rules file in here now let me just walk you through and see what it does and how it actually turns a simple basic cursor AI agent into to act as a Devon. So in here, inside dot cursor rules file, there are two important sections. One is lessons and another one is called scratch pad. This is scratch pad section. Inside lesson section, cursor actually writes all of the lessons that it has learned during the development of this project. So I have built a very basic Trello clone with a very simple prompt, which was create a Trello clone, follow the instructions from dot cursor rules. I just just mentioned this and it created a very basic Trello clone for me. This is the clone of Trello that it created. So there are there are like three sections. There is a to do section, there is in progress section, then there is a done section. So I can actually like drag and drop these tasks from here. I can add new tasks. I can drag and drop one task from one box to another box, like to do task or like in progress section or like maybe done section. So it created this entire thing with one prompt. You can see throughout the development, it actually created different project files. It set up a project as well and then in here it actually wrote what lessons it learned during the development of this project but most important part is it actually updated this scratch pad section and it created tasks for itself and then it actually created those tasks step by step then it achieved and completed those tasks step by step for itself the first one was actually features to implement inside features to implement the first feature is project setup so it had to like create a project next or just project so it listed that feature in here second one was actually creating the core component which was like board component, main page, column component, card component, add a new card component. After, after that, there was a state management setup as a stand store. So like it, it, it did that. Next one was actually creating uh, for that. And then additional features were 
card details model and then edit card and then all of that other steps then it created this current step section that actually it was working on this current step that includes recent improvements that includes like fixed drag and drop functionality and there was an enhanced design functionality so now more you will actually keep asking it to create and update this project then it will actually keep updating this scratch pad section and then like keep adding all of those steps here this way actually cursor will remember the cursor air cursor composer agent will actually remember what steps it took to develop this project this way the more complex your project will actually start the the more actually changing you made in making your project the more easier it will be for cursor agent to like understand that okay what changings were made because all of that track is now inside this cursor rules file it now understand that okay it, it implemented all of these functionalities in here and then all of these steps were implemented inside cursor so changing dot cursor rules file this way actually helps you to make cursor work as dev1 so if you are a cursor user all you will have to do is simply just copy this entire cursor rules file from here copy as it is and then paste it inside your project inside here dot cursor rules file just paste copy and paste that to here so this is just like as simple as it can be for a cursor users if you are a windsurf user then there are like few steps that you need to do and those steps are actually mentioned here first approach that you can do is actually you can simply just run these two commands inside your project so first thing is actually you need to just install cookie cutter inside your project just copy this command paste into inside your terminal and second one is just run this command and then you can actually have that same functionality once you have created your dot cursor rule file and then you have copied and pasted that dot cursor rule file from there now you can simply just go to your cursor composer section and ask it to like make some changes so because like i have already set up this project so now we can actually ask it to make some changes in this project let's just ask it to like create an authentication system for this project i'll simply just turn on my speech to text you can just do that by simply pressing on windows button and press h and press on that please create an authentication system for this project and then create a demo login for us to simply just log in to that project i'll just press enter press on submit so now what it will do it will actually first of all it, it updates like it creates tasks for itself inside this that scratch pad section and after that it will just like install any requ required dependencies whatever is required it will just like do that and after that it will just like update all of those tasks it will plan its tasks accordingly so this is how it works so now you can see it has installed prisma into our project and then the database is synced after that it is doing that next auth configuration for our project now it is installing some missing types in, the, in our project now it is creating a registration api endpoint so all of these tasks it is just like implementing here now it is going to create login and register pages now it is just updating that main page to add authentication into it that's it just accept all it is going to create a provider wrapper for next auth finally let's update the root layout to use providers that's great i'll just click on accept 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 and that's it so now it has created this demo login which is demo at example.com and then password is demo123 so you can see there are no errors let's just load our project so you can see our authentication system is here i'll just add this demo123 click on sign in okay invalid password or email let me just create a new account let me just add my name one two three one two three four five six seven eight nine click on create account it has created that account i'll just add that and that's it it has now logged in into our account and you can see like the proper authentication system is working with one command it has created all of those steps like followed all of those steps created a proper authentication system for us no errors there are no bugs in that everything is working seamlessly so by just changing your dot cursor rules file you can turn your 20 dollars cursor into 500 dollars devon ai agent this is really powerful and it will actually be more helpful for you if you're building something complex because it keeps record of all of the steps for you and it remembers what it has done in your project that actually reduces the chances of bugs so just give it a try there is no cost to do that and if you have any further questions just leave that in comment section i'll see you next video bye, -bye.